was the first time in my life that I had ever felt uncomfortable as a Canadian. The hate, the anger, the way they were marching, the chants they were making, that's something you see in the Islamic regime in Iran. You do not see that in Canada. That's the kind of behavior you see in, in radical fundamentalist countries, not in Canada. That is not the Canada that my parents immigrated to. I don't go to protests calling for genocide. I don't attend protests where I say from the river to the sea, and I can't even finish that sentence because it is abhorrent and vile. And to anyone who says these are peace rallies, it's appalling that I have to put this in Hansard, but it needs to be done so that the world will always remember what these hate rallies were about. This is a message from the Palestinian youth movement. One day after the horrific October 7 genocidal massacre of 1,400 innocent Jewish people. And it says, <clears throat> Toronto, all out for Palestine. Join us Monday, October 9th at 2 p.m. An unprecedented series of events has taken place by our heroic resistance in Gaza, with over 30 Zionist hostages captured, the fall of settlements surrounding Gaza, and the prison break that destroyed the fence that has been entrapped God, entrapping Gazans for over 17 years. The resistance's offensive attack has shaped a new precedent for our national liberation struggle and we remain steadfast in our right to resist by any means necessary. We call on our people in the far diaspora in Toronto to uplift and honour our resistance and our martyrs. Join us this Monday, October 9 at 2 p.m. at Nathan Phillips Square and celebrate our steps closer to liberation. Shameful. Shame. When my parents immigrated to Canada in 1986, I was a year old. And the reason that they immigrated to Canada from Iran is because uh, in 1979 there was um, an Islamic revolution and our once free and democratic country was taken over by radical Islamists, um, was taken over by terrorists, and was taken over by fascists who um, actually executed over 40,000 communists in the late 80s. Um, and so my parents escaped in 1986 because they wanted to live in a free and democratic society. And I was a year old at the time. And we were blessed to be able to come to Canada to escape that hatred, to escape that radical, fundamentalist, Islamo-fascist ideology. And that's the same regime, Madam Speaker, that denies the Holocaust. That's the same regime that spreads anti-Semitic information and propaganda, not just inside the Islamic regime of Iran, but around the world and through its pro proxies like Hamas and Hezbollah and others. And so when we came to Canada, my parents raised myself and my younger sister, <coughs> always telling us how blessed we are to be Canadian. You cannot negotiate with terrorists, Madam Speaker. You cannot. Hamas does not care if you are Israeli or Palestinian, Arab, Jew, Bedouin. They do not care. They will execute everyone. They do not care about the people. They use Palestinians as human shields. And he said, he said every few years, what the Palestinian Authority does, the Palestinian leadership, they will just create a war because they know what's going to happen is Israel will retaliate and then the world will be outraged and then they will get money through donations.